Hi, I'm Joe. I'm here at Gentleman and Rogues Club in Birmingham. And today I'm going to cut Tom's hair and give him a nice beard lineup. Um, so, what we're going to do, we'll give you a nice little tidy up, take a bit of weight out of what we've got on the top. So, we're aim to grow it sort of all the way back. Yeah, and we're going to keep it quite low. Um, a nice taper on the back of the neck and sort of tapered sides, and then I'll look after all of this for you. Okay, cool. Uh, comb his hair back, just to make sure that I haven't got sort of any contraindications, making sure there's no sort of skin tags or any bumps or anything that I need to sort of keep my eye out for. And give him a little thumb test, just so I can feel where his acetical bone is. I feel the way it sits. Um, what I'm going to do, because I don't really want to get into any of this, is um, because I'm going to taper and blend all of this here. I'm just going to take all of that away with a clip. And the same on the other side. So I've got a lot, all of that to play with without cutting anything on the top. I've got my Red Deer number one clipper uh, with the number two, the 6.0 guard on. And I've got my lever open. So I'm just going to knock myself in a little bit of a baseline. As I'm coming up, I'm just flicking out because I'm aiming to taper all of this here. What I aim to get with this clipper as well is it cuts really nice and smooth. So you get a really nice finish on it. Sweet, does that feel alright? Yeah. Yeah, cool. And then I'm going to move around to the side. I'm just going to try and pop a little weight line in there as well. Because I'm going to aim to blend out that tapered area. I do really like these clippers. There's sort of some new ones that we got sent um, by the guys at Red Deer. And they make like all, new, all clippers to different companies. Um, so we've been using them for about about five, six weeks now. I really like them for sort of things like this. My lighting's really, really difficult in this chair because during the daytime, it's really nice, you know, on the right. Yeah. And then in the evening, I aim to use the artificial light as much as I can. Okay, so as you can see, I've created can see where I'm going to aim to blend and I'm going to aim to taper out everything here. I say aim, I constantly say aim. <laughs> it's what I'm going to do. So I've got that on the, both sides now. I'm just keeping the symmetry of this haircut because it's going to fall all the way back. I've got to keep it perfectly symmetrical. Otherwise it'll just look a little bit off. Um, so I'm just going to switch over my clipper to my um, my super taper, and I've got my one and a half premium guard opened up on there. I'm just going to end blend, basically blend down, um, which is what I like to do with a taper, because there's nothing worse than blending off and going too high. It's always better to leave hair on than take off hair that you don't want to. So now I'm just going to close my guard over. I change my flip my guard over, put my number one guard on. And I'm just gonna keep coming up just slightly lower than where I went with the one and a half guard closed. As you can see. It's slowly disappearing. What's up, mate? Yeah, it was a little bit mad earlier, wasn't it? I've only had one sip of a beer all day. Disgusting mate. So I've closed my guard, so I've just got a clear number one now, three mil. I'm just continuing that taper. So you can see we're getting a nice little blend on that. And I'm just flipping in between to just refine, really. So I've got my half guard on, and I'm just continuing that same process, with the same motion of blending down. I've got my guard open, and I'm blending Oh. And down. And I'm closing. And again, just coming up. 
and chopping and changing in between to just refine it, really. So I've just changed my clippers over to my US Pro just to drop that, open up my guard, sort of blend out at the bottom. I've changed clippers just because I feel that the motors run a little bit slower on these. They're a bit nicer for tapering. I'm just popping the zero and discard on. And I'm just going to work back up slightly, um, just, just to sort of remove any darkness and shadow. I've got it on, sort of halfway. I'm just going to lightly do that. Now these guards are really sharp, so I have to try to not press too hard on the skin. So then I've got a, um, the wild, it's a wild guard that sort of fits on any clipper that I've got. So the holy grail of guards, it's one guard, so I've just popped that on. I've opened up and I'm just going to come back up into that. So just to try to keep that blend nice and smooth. I'm going to line all of that up nicely at the end. Uh, I'm now back to my super taper, my one and a half guard on, and I'm going to aim to just taper out the temple area. We've got a pretty tough, um, tough fade brush here. It's another one of my specials that came from uh, West Brom Market. Um, it's just a bit, a bit tougher to get around these hairs in the area. And then I'm going to jump back down to my half guard. I'm just jumping through, halfway open, full way open, and now I'm just going to blend back up into it now. I find that blending down and then blending back up to refine really, really helps me. And it's strangely able to do it well. Yes. One of my haircuts aren't complete unless I drop something during the haircut. Always dropping stuff. Just Messy barber, mate. You should change your Instagram handle. To the Messy Barber. Okay. Messy Barber Clean Cuts. Yeah, Messy Barber Clean Cuts. So yeah, basically I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm just aim for that symmetry. I'm dropping in between. I'm going to blend down again and then blend back up. I personally like to leave a little bit of hair here for when I do a hook. Um, and I'll get round to that sort of when I look at his beard then. As I'm combing the hair that way, I can see how it's going to sit because that's why the hair's going to cut. There's no point in me combing it down because he's not going to wear his hair that way. So I'll wear it back and I can just see where the weight is that I've left. I'm just going to get in and just remove some of that with my seven inch scissors. And I just creates a nice little blend over the ear. I like to do this dry because I can see how the hair's going to sit, which really helps. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So again, I comb it back because the way it's going to sit, not down. Yeah, so when a customer starts leaning his head over there, just grab his head and pull it back. So you can reaffirm that he needs to leave his head there. I've just got a little ledge here. I'm just going to remove a little bit of that weight. Just by taking just the tips off, because I'm going to return to it in my thinners afterwards. Now, I'm just going to comb through, make sure I haven't really left anything that I don't want there. But it's taking the shape that I wanted, which is always a bonus. I'm going to remove my clips. And then we're not really taking 
a lot of length off because we're growing it. But what we're going to do is we're going to just remove a little bit of the bulk because that's what makes it sit up a bit too much for you, doesn't it? So now I'm going to wet the hair through. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take from the recession area, I'm going to comb back, just while I'm removing that, I'm going to comb that down, and comb you back in. Just trying to keep my sections clean, because it really helps, it would have helped if I'm my slider. I'm just going to remove any of them sort of hairs that are dangling out, it's not what I want. The traffic's horrible when you get to about Oxford. Where'd you come from? Bournemouth. Oh. So you know down where the other shops are. Okay. How does it take four hours, four or five hours? And Carlos does it in two, mate. Was it two? What? No, Carlos drove at the speed right. limit all the way here. <laughs> yeah, definitely drove then, at the speed at limit. 7.28. And I, no, I left <laughs> at 5.28 in the morning. And you're here for and eight o'clock? Mate, look at that creepy yeah. guy at the door. I've seen that guy. Now what I'm going to look to do is so I'm going to look to just marry up the top with the side. Okay, my section back. Flip that. It falls down. So again, I'm just going to remove my clip. I'm just going to come back and take my section. Pull down. And again, I'm going to take that. Oh, I'm saying it again. I'm going to just marry that up. What did you do to your brother? Left him. So I'm going to take him up. I'm just going to remove that. Came it back. What's that? So all of that will sit because it's not just all one length of hair. It's actually brought in properly. It'll sit a lot nicer. Now just to cross over, I'm going to come from there. Yeah. Comb it all back again. You can just see that it's just sitting a lot nicer and cleaner than when he initially sat in my chair, Tom. And I'm going to work, just find my section again, bring it back, just constantly keeping the section clean. Clean section will always give a nice clean haircut. <laughs> so I'm just going to remove that so everything sits a lot nicer. Okay, down, out. So I'm basically just going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to wet it as it's starting to dry out. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to revisit them areas and just remove anything that looks like it shouldn't be there. I'm liking the look of that, mate. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm spinning my chair because the lighting is a lot better on the side and really helps me. I'm just going to now just get back to that weight line at the back 
just blend up with that to just finish that blend. Now I'm just going to give him a nice line up, but I'm going to put a nice hook on. <laughs> I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Dave, where are we going for dinner then? You've got to take me to a nice place, man. Taking Spark Hill, Dave. I'm just lining up with my detailer. What? Oh, it's a place in uh, in Birmingham, Spark Hill. You get a really good curry there, mate. Yeah, the curry's authentic. Authentic, mate. Yeah. It's a little trick. So I can see both sides. Just line up. Okay, mate. I've just got my pompadour comb, just add a little bit of texture through, just pull the hair in the direction that I want. Finish him! Finish him! And now, hello Judy! And now, we are going to be ready to move on to his beard, but that for me mate, you look ready for your Friday night. Yeah. I'll take Carlos's uh, <laughs> Carlos's kind of idea. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear him. Underneath, I can see where I gave him a beard trim a few weeks ago. So we're going to follow yeah, here. And then along. And there, I wouldn't even touch that. Yeah. So I'm just going to come down the back of the jaw. Yeah. And just clear it. And then follow in. Just a light touch so I can work what I'm at. I'm going to remove all of that. Try not to sort of use the blade too often face down with the detail because they're really, really sharp. One of my favourite trimmers, but they're really sharp. And they can often sort of mark the skin, so a bit of a nightmare. All the lads like the Andis, but I trust the power in these. I'm going to take on Carlos's advice. I don't mind, yeah. But yeah, I'm going to just come along here. Just find a nice line for the beard. I think if we take it down too low, it's gonna look a bit too much like a chin strap. So we'll work with the patchy beard. Uh, he lives right, like, Hamburg, which is like 10, 15 minutes away from Hamburg. Yeah. I'm going to take it off, you know, I'll get out there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.